Hello YouTube, and welcome back to Area Fair Documentaries. Today, we will be talking about the American T-28 super tank from World War II as part of our new super tank series. So, what was it? Well, like many other countries during World War II, America began to construct a super tank to combat the tanks of their enemies, such as the Tiger. The construction of the T-28 began when the Allies were approaching the Germans' heavily guarded Siegfried line. The 105mm T-5E1 gun was selected for the tank, as it had proved very effective against concrete and fortified structures. The design for the tank was sent to the Pacific Car and Foundry Company in March of 1945, and the front hull of the vehicle was completed in August of 1945. By the time the two T-28s had been fully built, the war had already ended. Because of this, the two T-28s were sent to the Aberdeen Proving Ground in Fort Knox to be evaluated until 1947. During this time, one of the prototypes was destroyed in an engine fire. The program was cancelled in October of 1947 after it was deemed obsolete. The last prototype of the T-28 was found in 1974 and was put in Patton Park after refurbishing. Now we'll talk about the specs of the T-28. The structure of the tank was taken from the T-23 and five prototypes were supposed to be built. The tank would have weighed about 86 tons and have four tracks to support that weight. Along with this, it wouldn't have been able to cross any of the existing portable bridges at the time because of its weight. As for weapons, it had a casemate, not a turret, and therefore a low profile. Other than the main 105mm T5E1 gun, the T-28 was also equipped with one 50 caliber M2 Browning machine gun for anti-aircraft use. The main gun had a muzzle velocity of 3,700 feet per second and a range of up to 12 miles. As for armor, the T-28 really shone, having extremely thick armor when compared to other vehicles of the time. The front armor was about 305 millimeters thick, and the lower front armor was about 130 millimeters thick, which was even enough to be protected from the 88 millimeter German anti-tank guns. The sides of the tank had 64mm thick armor and the suspension of the tank was covered with 100mm thick steel skirts. The T-28 was gasoline powered having a GAF V8 500 horsepower engine. The vehicle was still underpowered however having a max speed of about 8 miles per hour and barely being able to climb up obstacles. Overall it was an expensive, slow and heavy vehicle that couldn't climb up a hill. Well that's it, as always if you like our content and would like to see more, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and as always have a great day.